Hello, boys and girls. I feel like that's going to be a wrap. Very quickly, the bridge became compromised. It wasn't safe to go over there, so we kind of had to sacrifice everything over there. Seven zip lines, a climbing wall, this bridge, now a mangled mess seen from the WVLT drone. Pulled down our telephone poles, uprooted a, a 10 ton slab that we use as an anchor for our zip lines. Um, and it, it rose so fast within an hour and a half, we just didn't have time to save much. So was in it, it just get out alive? Yeah. At that point, it was just a matter of trying to get out of the water. Jeff Polite from Rafting in the Smokies lost his personal vehicles and thousands in tools. Two doors down. We could really use materials and people with skilled labor. Michelle Cuellar has owned Bean Trees Cafe for 21 years. She told us she couldn't afford flood insurance. And I just was able to come back to my place yesterday to witness my own devastation. So um, I'm in shock. The volunteer cavalry in Hartford. They have water, they need hands. Many are wearing masks because of polluted mud. We go in, we clean out their house completely, and they, by the time we leave, they're ready to just start demoing their home, and they've almost like it's a fresh start. 45 strong, the Cock County Randos are led by Hannah and Caitlin. They're finding abandoned homes and dogs that owners had to leave behind. We've seen 10 to 15 dogs this morning starved. We, put, we had a bag of dog food. We would put paws and they were eating it so fast. They meet at the Newport Walmart every morning at 9 a.m. For those looking to donate some sweat, they need more volunteers. For Kaylin, a third grade teacher whose students are also cleaning up, this is a mission. For me, as long as I'm out of work, my feet are going to be right here. Let's talk Cock County by the numbers. 500 meals delivered right here to the Grassy Fork Fire Department yesterday. 600 more coming in on Tuesday. Bushes just dropping off 357 cases of baked beans. They had 17 Swift Water Rescue teams. And now officials confirm to me that at least three Swift Water Rescuers have had to at least go to the hospital for respiratory infections from the previously polluted Pigeon River. In Hartford, I'm meteorologist Ben Cathy. Back to you.